What is up, pizza people? It's Jesse from Patio Pizza, and today we're doing same day pizza dough. So if you've been watching this channel for any period of time, you've probably noticed that my doughs typically have a longer fermentation time. But I know that's not always practical when it comes to making pizza dough. Sometimes pizza emergencies come out of nowhere and you need to make dough and you need to make it fast. So this recipe has been specifically formulated to be ready in as little as four oh, yeah. hours without sacrificing much in the flavor or texture departments. This recipe is gonna yield the dough for two 12 inch pizzas. And I know time is of the essence. So let's get going. I'll grab my large mixing bowl and to that I'll add 225 grams of room temperature filtered water. Then I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of instant yeast. That's about 1.5 grams if you're gonna weigh it out. Give it a little stir and then I'm gonna add 350 grams of the flour of your choice. This is just some King Arthur bread flour I had laying around. I'm gonna follow that up with one teaspoon or about nine grams of sea salt. Then I'll mix everything the best I can with a large spoon and when it starts to come together, I'll continue to knead the dough in the bowl for a few more minutes. Once it seems that everything is sufficiently together, I'll go ahead and cover it up and let it rest for 10 minutes. This first rest is gonna let the flour hydrate a little better and it's gonna make the rest of the kneading way easier. So don't skip this first rest. After 10 minutes, I'll transfer my dough to a clean surface and continue to knead for another five to 10 minutes. This is when the gluten is starting to come together. It's a lot easier now that the flour is sufficiently hydrated. Once your dough starts to get nice and tight, I'll go ahead and ball it up and I'm gonna put it into a grease container, cover it up and let that rest for one hour at room temperature. This is referred to as the bulk ferment, so one hour at room temperature, bulk fermented. Once that hour is up, we'll go ahead and portion our dough up. This is gonna be two dough balls, about 10 ounces each, and then we'll ball them up. Remember the motion for this is a gentle stretch, fold it onto itself, rotate 45 degrees, and repeat until a nice tight ball forms. And then that'll go into a grease container with a lid, and cover it up. Okay, at this point you have some options. You can keep your dough out at room temperature and it's gonna be ready in as little as four hours and probably will stay fine until maybe six and a half, seven hours. After that, it's probably gonna blow itself out and be really hard to use. So if you're planning on using it later than six hours, so say you're making the dough in the morning and you're gonna to go to work that day and you want pizza for the night. You're talking nine, 10 hours probably. What I would do here is put the dough in the fridge let it stay in there the entire time you're at work. As Soon as you get home, take it out, let it rest for an hour or two before you make pizza. So to repeat, if you're planning on using it within four to six hours, just leave it out at room temperature. It's gonna be great, it'll be just fine. If it's gonna be longer than that, put it in the fridge until about an hour or two before you plan on making pizza, then take it out, let it warm up, and it's gonna be great. That's all there is to it. All right, this dough has been out for six hours at room temperature. As you can see, it proofed up real nice. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out, top it. We're gonna bake it in the rock box and let's see how it turns out. Okay, this is our same day pizza dough. I made this about six hours ago. It's looking great, We've got a good cook, good crumb structure, everything looks real nice. Let's give it a shot. Mm-hmm. That's not lacking in flavor at all. The room temperature for six hours, still plenty of flavor. Definitely broke down a lot of those extra sugars. Six hours at room temperature, there's plenty of flavor. It tastes great. You would never know this wasn't a 72 hour fermentation. So next time you're in a hurry and you need your pizza fix, I got the recipe for you. I hope you give it a shot. I hope you like this video. I hope you hit subscribe and I love you lots.